Everyone on Wall Street is super rich, right? I mean, everyone makes an incredible salary, these absolutely absurd bonuses, everyone's rich, right? No, absolutely not, that's completely wrong. I worked on Wall Street for several years and I personally saw tons of people who their assets did not far exceed their liabilities, which is the definition of wealth. So it really doesn't matter how much a salary is or how much uh, a bonus is every year, you know, how much that income is. Um, if you're living way outside of your means or going into debt, uh, your, your net worth is essentially not going anywhere or going down. Now, I do wanna caveat this because um, there are a lot of people that work on Wall Street who come from rich families, but I'm looking at this through the lens of the individual you know, solely. So we'll say there are a lot of people from affluent backgrounds who you know, their families, they do come from money and you know they're not hurting financially but um it's crazy to me it really blew my mind how much people live outside of their means who you know work on wall street the amount of money that people spend was absolutely absurd to me and that's one of the main reasons that a lot of people who work on wall street are broke they don't have a lot of uh you know uh, net worth or wealth built up because they are living outside of their means and what happens when you live outside of your means? You either chip away at your savings or you go into debt. And both of those are reducing your equity, your net worth, and causing you to be broke. And what's crazy to me is one of the things that I saw as being the main culprit of this was people living like their, you know, that yearly large bonus that, um, you know, everyone looks forward to at the end of the year, which could be up to, you know, could be 100% of your base salary. It can be a large bonus but people live like that's a guarantee and it's not. So people basically live like they've budgeted that this bonus is a guarantee and it's not. It really depends on how the firm has done, how the desk has done, and how that individual has performed. So um, that money is not a guaranteed thing and it was crazy to me that people lived like it was. The next thing that contributes to a lot of people who work on Wall Street being broke is you really don't make the big, big, the ultra big bucks until you hit managing director and above. Um, and that's not even a guarantee. Not everyone hits, uh, not, not everyone gets to uh, MD level. So that's where the salaries and bonuses can get really stupid and get up to, you know, a million plus. But, um, you know, there's, I'd say most people who stick around in, you know, and work on Wall Street, they make it to VP and you're still making really great money for sure, but you know, you're not making that stupid money. Another thing that contributes to people who are working on Wall Street being broke is New York City is insanely expensive. I mean, it is, you know, we lived there for two years and it was, it was crazy, especially for me coming from the South, you know, I grew up in, in Tennessee actually, and um, you know, the rent, food, entertainment, anything you can think of was just like double, if not triple the price of what things cost, you know, the way that I grew up in like the South. So uh, the cost of living there was just absolutely crazy. So when you take a, uh, you know, on, on paper, a uh, salary that looks like, you know, it, it looks very high, really, if you wanna equate that to the standard, you know, the rest of the nation and, you know, cost of living and kind of equal it out, you need to divide that by two or three to normalize it to living conditions elsewhere. So yeah, it was, to me, working on Wall Street was, I, you know, I really enjoyed it. Um, and I, every bonus that I made, I completely banked it. I did not touch it at all. I just invested it. Um, I just lived on my salary and did not bank on a bonus whatsoever. Um, and it was tight, honestly, living on just the salary and being disciplined to not touch any of the bonus. Um, that was pretty tight to live in New York City on that. So um, yeah, it's not all it's cracked up to be. And if you wanna learn more about salaries at Goldman Sachs or you know Wall Street as a whole, you can check out my video on that where I do a deep dive on the different salaries for different levels at Goldman Sachs. So anyways, I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.